Welcome to day 75 on the Daily Psalm series. Let's go ahead and read Psalm 75 from the New King James Version. To the chief musician, set to, do not destroy, a psalm of Asaph, a song. We give thanks to you, O God, we give thanks, for your wondrous works declare that your name is near. When I choose the proper time, I will judge uprightly. The earth and all its inhabitants are dissolved. I set up its pillars firmly. Selah. I said to the boastful, do not deal boastfully. And to the wicked, do not lift up the horn. Do not lift up your horn on high. Do not speak with a stiff neck. For exaltation comes neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south. But God is the judge he puts down one and exalts another. For in the hand of the Lord there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is fully mixed, and he pours it out. Surely its dregs shall all the wicked of the earth drain and drink down. But I will declare forever, I will sing praises to the God of Jacob. All the horns of the wicked I will also cut off, but the horns of the righteous shall be exalted. And that's Psalm 75. What I'm also reminded of is the fact that the Bible also says that humble yourself and you will be exalted. Exalt yourself and you will be humbled. It's so important to know that God is the one who gave you purpose. He is the one who called you. He is the one who chose you. And so we have no position or no authority to exalt ourselves in any way. Because we are not the potter. God is the potter and we are the clay, right? So we should never do things in our own ways, in our own strength. Because we are fighting a losing battle then. We are thinking that we know best for our lives. And this also goes in line with other people's wisdom. The wisdom of this world. Don't follow the wisdom of this world. Don't take advice from what originally came from man. Whatever someone says, if it doesn't go in line with God's word, do not trust it because God's word will validate a fact. Don't do what everyone tells you to do. Do what God tells you to do. Go where God tells you to go. Don't let peer pressure cause you to make decisions because Satan likes to get us to rush. He likes to get us to be in a position of being hasty and haste is not a very godly thing. Nowhere in the fruit of the Spirit do you see the word rush or haste or anything like that. You see the words such as patience and self-control. And also the Bible teaches us to wait on the Lord. Wait on the Lord. Let Him exalt you as you remain humble and He will show you what to do, where to go. And He will provide for the journey ahead because He is the one who has called you and He is the one who will equip you for your future. So trust God, humble yourself, live in humility, trusting God, taking every step in faith, knowing that God will show you where the next step is to take. Praise God, guys. Let's close in prayer today before the end of the video. Heavenly Father God, we come before you today in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you for today's video, for today's psalm. I just pray, Lord, that you would forgive us for doing things in our own strength, for going in our own timing and doing things in our own ways. Lord, help us to realize that we are the clay and you are the potter, that you would work on us and equip us and prepare us for what you have for us, Father. Show us the value of humility, Lord. Show us the value of seeking your face and waiting upon you, Father. And we give you all the glory and the praise and the honor, Lord, and the thanks for calling us, Lord. Thank you for choosing us. Thank you that we have a purpose and we don't need to worry or be concerned about our future because it's all in your hands, Lord. So help us to see the truth of your word. Help us to see the truth of our identity in you, Father. And Lord, I pray a blessing over those who are watching this video today. And I bless your name, Father God, as well. All glory and praise and thanks and honor to you. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Keep your eyes on Jesus. Keep waiting on the Lord. Do what God has called you to do. Seek God's face and ask Him for knowledge of His will for your life and wisdom and spiritual understanding. God bless you. Peace be with you in Jesus' name. Amen.